Hey guys, how you doing? So in this video, quick vlog, how do you develop a deep understanding of code and programming? Short answer is by actually building real projects. Don't get caught up in the game of being continuously doing tutorials or code camps or code competitions or studying algorithms. That is not going to give you a deep understanding of code. So the analogy I like to use is the difference between the pad hitters and the people actually jump in the ring and who fight. This is in reference to, of course, martial arts. I did that stuff for about 30 years. And you had a group of people who would just do training drills and combination drills and pad hitting and heavy bag work. But they didn't want to get in a ring. They didn't want to get in a ring because they were scared. But what happened when they eventually got in the ring, some of them do, what they discovered is all that pad hitting, all those type of exercises didn't really do too much to prepare them for fighting. You can take somebody who's done six months of pad hitting training versus somebody who's done three months of sparring. And the guy who's done three months of sparring will be a much better fighter, meaning they have a much better understanding of fighting and there's somebody who's done twice as much work on the heavy bag and hitting pads and doing drills. Same thing with software development. I had the exact same experience back in the 90s when I was first learning JavaScript, first learning how to code, well, write, pro, write software rather. And uh, I remember I was a JavaScript theoretical master because I had read all these, well, I read a couple big books on JavaScript I did a little bit of snippet coding with nothing real, but somebody would say to me, how do you do this in JavaScript? And I could tell, oh, I'll use this function here, you can do this, that, there. And I knew it theoretically, but I remember till this day, I remember sitting down to write my first real JavaScript uh, code, production code. And I remember I had such a hard time. I had such a hard time. So even though I had all this theoretical knowledge, I really didn't know how to write code, well, write JavaScript code. And my programming skills were just not that good. Why? Because I hadn't built at that time in the 90s, early 90s, early mid 90s, something like that, I forget. It's been such a long time, forgive me if I don't know exactly if it's 96 or 97 or 95, I forget. Anyhow, at that point in time, Though I had good theoretical knowledge of writing code, uh, my ability to program in JavaScript was really limited because I didn't understand, I didn't have a deep understanding of JavaScript and the browsers and, and the problems associated with that and HTTP, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you are looking at getting into code and you're concerned about getting a real deep understanding of coding, I've told people this many times, and everybody who follows my advice, they're happy. Number one, you learn the foundations. Then once you have the foundations, you do one or two project tutorials. Pick something, whether it be from what I provide or anyone on, on YouTube. You don't have to pay for it. And then from there, you go out there and you do some real work. Because as a real world coder, developer, software developer, you're going to be learning on a need to nerd basis. This is just the way it goes. And this is where a solid understanding of the foundations is going to help you out in a big way because it will allow you to more easily learn, actually to very easily learn new technologies. And then you take it from there. So the last question I'm going to answer is, you know, you're in there, you got your basics, you have a good understanding of the basics. And uh, how do you choose which technology to learn today? Do you learn React? Do you learn Vue? Do, what do you do? You let the jobs tell you. You let the jobs tell you. If you see that there's a lot of openings for React developers, learn React. Do, do some React. That's when you do the React tutorial or the Hello World in React, if you will. And then you go see a client or somebody say, okay, I'll build something in React for you. And if you can't get paid to do it, then do a free one for a couple of weeks. All of a sudden, you built your resume, then you can go get a paid job. If you see that the job is, no, it's not React, it's Vue now, and where I happen to live. Then you learn Vue, or no, it's C-sharp.net, uh, then you learn that, etc. 
you arm with the fundamentals, then you can learn what you need to learn for the particular job that you're after, and you just take it from there. Doing real world, real world work is the key to all this. Doing real world work is the key to all this. Just like in martial arts, whether it be Muay Thai, boxing, or jujitsu, getting in there and sparring is the key to the whole game. That's how you have a deep understanding. I can tell you from my experience in software development, uh, in martial arts, and business, you really learn everything by jumping in and actually doing it. So uh, there you go.